I bought this microphone on sale for $6. Let's see if it's any good or if it even works. Here is my $6 microphone. I don't think there's even a brand name on it. It just says universal cardioid microphone. Let's see what is inside of the box. We got a little paper right here. And then we have the microphone and we even have a wind muff, which this is pretty cool. So we're gonna dive into that, but uh, that is everything that comes in the box. So we can move that to the side. And uh, right here, it looks like we have our shock mount. So it comes with a little shock mount. We have our actual microphone right here. I'll take off that wind muff. This is for preventing noise. We'll see how well this works in a little bit. But this thing is actually pretty heavy duty. It feels like it is made of metal. It's a little bit heavy, but uh, I'm actually kind of impressed with the build quality of this. And for comparison, we do have the Rode Video Micro, which can be found for 50 to $60. So this mic is literally 10 times more expensive than this one. We're gonna see how those compare. We also have this little leather bag to carry around the microphone. So that comes with it. And then with the shock mount, now that I'm actually have it in my hands, this thing is very, very cheap. I don't think this is gonna do a great job of actually absorbing any of the shock. And so we'll see how it does. This thing is just very stiff. So usually like you'll see with this more expensive shock mount, there's a lot of wiggle room in here so that as you're kind of moving around with your camera, it's going to absorb that shock. You can see how bendy and uh, movable this plastic is. Whereas on this one, it is barely moving. This thing is very stiff. Again, we'll have to test that. And the last thing we're gonna get in the box is a cable to actually plug this into a camera. But the nice thing about this is it comes with a cable to plug this into a phone. So you can use this on a smartphone. You can also use this on your camera. As far as size comparison goes, these things are pretty similar in size. This one is a bit thicker, but when it comes to length and just overall the size of the microphone, they're very, very similar. And actually, as I hold them in my hands, they feel like they're pretty similar in weight. I think this one might be a hair heavier, but this one is about the same when it comes to the weight. Both of these microphones do have a cardioid polar pattern, so they are going to pick up sound in a very similar way, though I'm interested to see which one is going to sound better, so stay tuned for that. Now, another thing I'm impressed with with this microphone is that it actually does come with this wind muff. So we're gonna test this out, but this is pretty cool how for $6, it comes with it. And usually this microphone, I think, is around eight or $9, but if you get it on sale, I mean, regardless, $110, this is impressive, but let's see how well this wind muff works. I'm having a hard time just getting this thing onto this microphone. So I definitely wouldn't recommend taking this off and putting it back on a bunch. But this hole right here where you're supposed to put the microphone into, it is pretty small and it's hard to actually stretch. It's not super stretchy. So that makes it really difficult for me to put this on the microphone. Finally, I got it on there. Let's go test this thing out. Now, does this microphone actually sound good? That's what we're gonna find out right now. And to make this microphone sound as good as possible, you definitely wanna bring that microphone as close as you can to you. So I am going to have it on some sort of mounting system like this so that it's gonna be just out of frame and that's gonna give us the best sound quality possible. Now, typically I would also do a little bit of EQing to make sure that it sounds a bit better. But for this test, I wanna see how it compares to the Rode Video Micro when it's just raw and completely no EQing, just straight from the camera. I wanna see how it sounds. Yo, it's Omar and Kyle up in the house. We're gonna be checking out this clip. Kyle's kind of like an audio it. pro kind of type oh, guy. No, no, no. All right. Here is the microphone test. Let me know in the comments down below which microphone you think is the $6 microphone and which microphone you think is the $60 microphone. Also, both of these microphones are gonna be placed in the same positioning without any... B. Just, well, right off the bat, like A is a little more echoey. B is a lot more cleaner. B is a $60 microphone. Any sort of wind muffs on the microphones, they're just going straight into my camera, the Sony A7S Mark III. And also, if you haven't checked out our free YouTube masterclass, then make sure you go to thinkmasterclass.com. A is the $6, B is the $60 microphone. Because of the echo, you can just hear more of the room and the, and the echo in the room. Right? Right? Right, Nolan? Right, Nolan? And they guessed it correctly. A was the $6 mic and B was the $60 microphone. What I wanna know, how did Nolan get the vintage crack Think Media 
logo tee. Like, that's vintage. dude, can you throw that on eBay real Is quick? Is that single stitch? It's no, not single no, stitch, okay. but like, dude, the guy got the, he's sun, it's sun faded. Dude, Dang. I see you, bro. I see it. With being under $10, I was really impressed with this microphone. And if you want to pick one up, you can use the link in the description. It definitely is an upgrade, especially if you compare it to the built-in microphone on your camera. This is what my Sony a7S III sounds like with no microphone plugged in. You can really hear that AC just outside of my door. So the microphone really is a big improvement. Now with this microphone, if you just add a little bit of EQ like this, it is going to sound a little bit better. So I definitely recommend doing that as well. And then of course, to get the best sound quality, really out of any microphone, you want to place it as close as possible. So click on the screen if you want to figure out how to mount your microphone above you for shooting YouTube videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.